9 Proofs You Can Increase Your Brain Power in a Week The human brain is probably the most mysterious organ in our body. Scientists keep learning new facts about its work, but it still hides a lot of secrets. That's why we decided to acquaint you with the brightest discoveries of the last few years in the field of brain research. There are a few simple ways to boost your intellect and improve your brain power, and they will surely surprise you. <laughs> Golly, I could sure use that. Well, keep sitting there and you'll learn something. Number 9. Chronic lack of sleep worsens memory. Scientists from the University of California at Berkeley have found convincing proof that a lack of sleep can worsen memory and cause Alzheimer's. During a full night's sleep, brain cells remove toxic compounds dangerous for our brain. If a person never gets enough sleep, it has a devastating effect on their brain cells. Number 8. Prolonged stress destroys the brain. A decrease in memory, in the ability to learn, in self-control – these are the consequences that chronic stress is fraught with. Also, it contributes to a person feeling irritation, anxiety, tension, and often being distracted. Number 7. Love and hate have a lot in common. British scientists found that love and hate originate in similar brain areas. However, unlike hatred, Love significantly reduces the activity of the areas responsible for judgment and logical thinking. Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, keep sitting there, man. Number 6. The brain is sensitive to dehydration. Our brain is almost 80% water. Therefore, even a moderate loss of fluid, about 2%, reduces concentration and vigilance and leads to the deterioration of short-term memory and other cognitive abilities. Number 5. Pregnancy changes the brain structure Scientists prove that pregnancy reduces the amount of gray matter in the brain areas responsible for social cognition and the ability to understand other people. All of it is necessary to strengthen the mother-baby connection, help a woman understand the needs of her child, and notice possible external dangers. Number 4. The abundance of sugar in the diet worsens memory and reduces the ability to learn. The abundance of fructose in the diet slows down the brain and reduces its ability to learn, remember information, and concentrate. This is because the excess sugar destroys neural connections in the brain. Scientists emphasize that industrially produced sugar is much more harmful, added to soft drinks, seasonings, sauces, and baby food. However, Products containing omega-3 fatty acids, such as fatty fish, nuts, and fish oil, remove the consequences of the disorder. So we should have a can of sardines with a root beer. Mmm, yum! Number 3. Romantic love and maternal feelings are very similar. It turns out, according to brain activity, romantic relationships and maternal feelings are very similar, but there are differences as well. For example, passionate love activates the brain areas related to sexual arousal. In addition, the feeling of anxiety and fear decreases, and the feeling of euphoria increases. Maternal love activates the areas responsible for the formation of affection. Aww. Number 2. Painting improves the work of the brain. A study showed that painting and contemplations of works of art improve the interaction between brain areas while slowing its aging. Scientists studied the influence of art on people aged 62 to 70 years old. Half of them took a course in art history, and the other half took a course in painting. Painting classes gave a stronger result than art history. So pick up a brush! And number 1. Reading trains the brain. Oxford scientists prove that the process of reading trains the cognitive abilities of the brain. It also activates areas that aren't used at other times. While reading, blood enters the brain areas responsible for concentration and cognition. It's noteworthy that this effect doesn't occur while watching TV or playing computer games. So what are you waiting for? Grab an interesting book and give your brain a great workout. 
Tolstoy, anyone? Hey, count me in. <laughs> Are we talking about War and Peace or Anna Karenina? Don't forget to hit the like button below the video and click subscribe to join the bright side of life.